Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about prayers, and this time we'll be discussing one of the ACT prayers, the act of faith. This prayer, at first blush, comes across a lot like a creed, since it's mainly a profession of faith, reciting what we believe. However, it's not exactly a creed. By reciting some of the basic truths of the faith, which we believe, it can not only help us remember them more easily, but it may even make it easier to believe them. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons. Here is the oneness and multipleness of God described. Furthermore, we also explicitly say the number of divine persons, and we address God as an intelligent being. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The names and roles of the three persons of God, and by extension the Trinity, is described in brief. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins. Several truths are packed into this section. First, there's the implication, though he's not named explicitly, it's implied, that Jesus is the Son of God. Second, that he existed before he became a human being as the divine second person of the Trinity, the Son. Third, that the Son of God died. And fourth, that his death was intended to help us with the problem of our sins. And that he will come to judge the living and the dead. Jesus will return one day and judge both people who were dead by then and people who survive until his return. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. A succinct way of summarizing any and all creeds. Because in revealing them you can neither deceive nor be deceived. This is a deeper theological point about God, describing two of the things which, due to his perfection, he's unable to do. The first is deceive people, because deceiving people is an imperfect action, so a perfect being can't do that. The second is being deceived, since in order to be deceived, you would need to be unaware of some truth, and that would involve not being perfect. Next time, a prayer of hope in God's great mercy and power. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.